My brothers, greetings. Thanks to your efforts, we have jumped out of the gate in 2022 with grit, determination, and momentum. I'm reminded of a quote from the former 2011 to 2014 NFL San Francisco 49ers coach, Jim Harbaugh, who stated, attack each day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Just a quick rewind. This time last year, we embarked on a statewide Novena for Life initiative with a scoreboard suggesting that after nearly 50 years of legalized abortion, our nation still had not restored full legal protection for our most innocent and vulnerable brothers and sisters, the unborn. The shattering death toll of legalized abortion had reached 60 million innocents in the U.S. alone. Still, we persisted and doubled down this year across our state with nine days of prayer by combining the Novena for Life with the Holy Hour, with included a nightly recitation of the Holy Rosary. With this fervent and collective spiritual effort, we waged a 360-degree attack on the entire abortion industry with the intention to restore respect for the sanctity of all human life. Entering this year's nine days of prayer, our state chaplain, Father Anthony Vesapli, challenged all brother knights saying, we as Knights of Columbus must refuse the temptation to take shortcuts and commit to being the champions of the Holy Rosary. The Knights of Columbus have long advocated for the dignity of every human life. In January 2022, we attack with an enthusiasm the world has never seen and energized with a belief in God's promise written in St. Paul's letter to the Romans that when we're seen, increase, grace overflowed all the more. Could it be that this was the last January Novena for Life where Roe and versus Wade, the landmark case that legalized abortion in all 50 states stands? Released from our Knights of Columbus Supreme's newsletter this week, we learned that a new marriage poll commissioned by the Knights of Columbus shows that 71% of Americans support legal limits on abortion and 81% believe our laws should protect both the mother and her, her unborn child. These findings come as the Supreme Court weighs Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization, the most significant challenge in many years to Roe versus Wade, the landmark case that legalized abortion in all 50 states in 1973. In any scenario, there is no doubt that as California goes, so goes the nation. Armed with a weapon of Holy Rosary, our Rosary, the California Knights of Columbus will play an integral role in winning the battle, a culture of life. My brothers, keeping our eyes fixed on our goal to rise again, here are our programs and focus areas for the month of February 2022. Service program of the month is Widows and Widowers Outreach that shows appreciation to the widows of Brother Knights and Widower Brothers Knights for their loss and timeless efforts to the Knights of Columbus. For our faith programs, we have the RSVP, Into the Bridge. For our family programs, family, we continue for the family of the month and year. For the community programs, we go for the district chapter free throw championship. And for our life programs, we have the Special Olympics, Winter Games, and the Ultrasound Program. Just remember the forms and the reports that we need to be submitted. The semi-annual council audit report 1295 is due on February 15th. The free throw district championship report. And it's not too late to submit the following reports. The fraternal program report forms 10784. The district deputy submission of semi-annual report number 944, which was due on December 31st, 2021. Our annual survey of fraternal activities 1728 is due January 31st, 2022, and the report on participation in the Special Olympics program due on January 31st, 2022. And planning ahead, we need to plan for council church membership drives. And our wheelchair Sundays, we need to do those, my brothers. Food for families, we prepare for Lent, and a spiritual reflection program for the Lent. For the prayers in the pew monthly, February gives us a glance of ordinary time before we plunge into the length in March. During this time, it is good to be attentive to those who are suffering 
the loss of loved ones, as well as to remind ourselves to practice the works of mercy as a regular way of life. Please find and share February's 2022 edition of Prayers in the Pew Monthly. You will discover the power of serenity in our lives and the integral role we as the strong right arm of the church must play to care for those in need. Take special care to recite the serenity prayer. Implement the featured faith in action program of the month widows and widowers outreach as I mentioned earlier. Embrace the first of the year spiritual challenge from our California State Chaplain, Father Anthony Vest happily to identify, reach out, and include in your prayers those who are suffering. In an email that was sent out to our brother Knights from our current state chaplain, Reverend Father Anthony Vest happily last month, he shared his personal observation that men and their families become better and loyal Catholics once they join the Knights of Columbus. He further mentioned that Knights are the most reliable, committed, and loyal group do doing an amazing job in his own parishes and other parishes. Father Anthony wished that every man in his parish, 18 and above, above age, is a member of the order for the same reason that Knights' families are better rooted in their faith and commitment. With that said, he invited all the Brother Knights to share that we and our families have with other families. By this, we are not only bringing other Catholic gentlemen, increasing the membership of our order, but also evangelizing their families. In closing, my brothers, know that I am immensely grateful for all of you and count on my prayers for you, your families, and your homes. Viva Jesus. Thank you.